Today's event was organized as part of the Canadian Federation of Students and Concordia Student Union's Vote Education Campaign. Well, product. We have to look at how that dynamic is going to With a piece of uh, photo ID and some proof of residence, which can be a lease or a bill of some kind. You didn't get a call or anything from to take part in the debate? No. And, uh, as a Concordia alumnus, I am absolutely appalled about it. I, it's the last place I would ever expect to see something like that happen. I don't know what's happened to the student union since I've been a member of the Council of Representatives back in 2000 and 2003. Uh, on top of that, uh, students weren't even invited to ask questions. Uh, that there's no question period, I think is a serious, uh, serious lack of judgment on the part of the organizers of this event. I think students were Students' rights were uh, were definitely they were ripped off today. I think. How did you find out about the debate in the first place? We actually found out about the debate uh, through one of the other candidates who we were told uh, yeah. our West Montville Marie candidate. Well, I'll see you there on uh, Wednesday. Automatically assuming we would be there, uh, and of course. You know, I'm looking at this uh, literature, and obviously the Green Party is important enough to be on this paper for the students, but uh, not important enough, of course, uh, to say their viewpoint to the students so they can hear it firsthand. Um, and, yeah, in fact, we just had the uh, communique with uh, Mr. Garneau, uh, who was, he was also was involved, we were not invited. In fact, he, if he had have known that the outcome might have been a little different, as they've pledged to not present themselves if the Green Party is not present. Really? Yes. Okay. I, I requested to the president of the student union that uh, at least, at the very least, the students should hear it from her mouth or from the mouth of the organizers as to why I was not invited, and she refused to do so. Yeah. She said that if students would ask, then she, that somebody would reply about it, except that we realized that there was no, not even a question period, so obviously students would have the opportunity to ask. Therefore, it's kind of a moot point. Yeah, we'll be sure to ask. Okay. All right. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Is there anything that you would have said just uh, in the debate? You're like, I would have said something. Like that. Certainly. I mean, there are, there are points that that, uh, that we agree with certain points and certain that we don't. And uh, it's a little bit sad to see the partisanship that's going on and who's claiming who's good idea. The Green Party is, 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 has had a lot of these ideas in its platform for many, many years and we're often the source of these type of concepts such as the Green Shift and environmental policies that have been adopted by other other parties as their own, which is, which is fine. And, um, as for as for uh, uh, our policies on education, uh, I'm sure graduates would have, people would have liked to know that uh, graduates, upon finishing a program, would be forgiven the 50 percent of their student loans. For example. So that's one policy that others uh, have not offered. And, and fortunately, you know. Fortunately, because um, on, a, on a national level, everybody has decided that we do have the right to speak. Uh, all the people who did not have the opportunity to see uh, Jessica speak here today should take the opportunity to watch Elizabeth May in the television debates.